A model of what the ground looks like in parts of uh, the world. This is uh, actually what the ground looks like underneath South Georgia and Alabama, Florida. It's made of sediments, uh, pretty loose grains. And in this model, we've got different sizes of sediments. These have uh, clay particles, and the clay particles in here are really small. They're like this small, and they fit together like this. So when water moves through them, it's really hard for water to actually get through. And you can see that some parts of it are still dry. So when, we, when it rains on here, water moves down, but it doesn't just move down, it moves wherever there's an open space to the surface. So the water, if it falls here, it will move to this lake. Or if we unclamp here and let the water start to run through the whole system and down to here, it will move generally in this direction. And this is just a diagram that shows how the water flows in, in the model. So if we put water at the surface, it doesn't go straight down and it doesn't go straight like that. It kind of curves around to where there's open streams or lakes. Now we're going to make this a real system and we're going to make it rain. So let's make it rain with this. These are going to be really big raindrops. And I'm just going to hold this over here and we'll make it rain on top of the pollution. So just put it in kind of slowly and we'll make it rain, rain, rain. Oh man, so the rain, we can stop there. So you can see the rain now, it's floating down through the surface and actually making that pollution move out. So it's kind of cleaning up the area a little bit, but it's actually making the pollution move away. We'll see what happens as time goes on. So let's see what happens when we make it rain in the mountains. Go ahead and pour a bunch of water in there. Oh, oh. I got it. All right. All right, so as soon as I open that and let the water flow through. So that's going down because the water's flowing through all of here. And let's see if it moves that pollution out. When it got to this level, it started pushing that this way. Let's put some more in. Ooh, it actually helped make the pollution rise up into the wells, too. Dr. Stapleton, I have a question. Yes, please. Are you familiar with what's happening with the water controversies between Alabama, Georgia, and Florida? Oh my what's gosh. What's your on that? And I live in Georgia where we're, we're trapping the water so it doesn't flow down the Chattahoochee to Florida and Alabama. So we're kind of trapping it up here so we can use it. This water it will actually end up in the Chattahoochee at some point. So right now we're keeping it for ourselves. And um, I don't know. I don't mind sharing my water with people. I mean, we're used, we get water out of the Chattahoochee to drink. Are you guys from Florida or Alabama? No? I'm from Virginia. So Virginia, okay. But you're from Georgia? Yes. What do you think about the about us keeping water in the Chattahoochee? We have a dam on it. And so we are kind of hoarding the water in Georgia and then just slowly letting it out. And the Chattahoochee actually ends up somewhere in Florida and Alabama at some point. So, what do you think about it? Um, well, it's, it's all right to share, but like, if the water is like originated in Georgia, we should like just keep the water. Oh, really? Well, you know, so this is showing us that water just naturally, if we let it alone and don't let humans interfere, it just naturally flows from one place to another. So, I don't know. Is it even possible? Stop the water flow in the aquifer. Thank you. Is it? They're getting our water from the aquifer. Yeah. And we really can't stop that. Right. Right. So this is the aquifer. It's not like we can put a a, a bridge or I mean a dam down underneath the ground to stop it from flowing. Hmm. That's interesting. I hadn't thought of it like that. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Stapleton. Thank you, guys. <laughs>